Once again, another beautiful display of the sweet science by Jesse Rodriguez against the hard-hitting Srisiket Sor Rongvisai truly showed us that there are levels to this game and he is a level beyond. So now, let's talk about what he actually did to get him the victory. Movement, angles, as well as some good old solid fundamentals were the game plan for this fight. Knowing full well that Rongvisai possesses dangerous power, you never want to put yourself in a position wherein he can get a good crack on you or have you stuck on the corner. Jesse had to show respect to that power, and he did this by choosing not to go to war with Rongvisai. Rather, he would rely on the jab and slowly pot shot at Rongvisai from a safe distance. Even if the jabs wouldn't land at times, it still made Rongvisai cautious to enter and allowed Jesse to set up some straights. He also chose to never stay at one same position, always constantly moving and never really allowing Rongvisai to sit on his shots. He also utilized feints which had a great effect on Rongvisai, constantly making him question which punches were about to come. Jesse's amazing use of angles were very key to victory. Something Rong Visai is not used to. As you can see, every time Jesse gets in close to Rong Visai, he will angle out and hit Rong Visai in a position wherein Rong Visai can't hit back from. You misinterpret it because the object of the game is like when I hit the punch, like the punch, boom, boom, and then I twist it, and boom, and I'm at the side where you can't hit me. Like if you expect me to be here and you don't punch it here, you don't punch it here, but I'm here already and I'm perhaps going to hit you already a couple of times. These subtle changes in angles allow you to find much better openings, and this is something Jesse does throughout the entire fight, not only as an offensive means, but also as defensive means. As you can see from here, once Jesse gets to this angle, there's pretty much no way for Rong Visai to hit him. And if the opening is good enough, he will also throw a punch in there. Just look at how beautifully Jesse sets up these angles. He will use the jab to block Rong Visai's view, which gives him time to change angles without Rong Visai noticing. Once he has the angle, he can go in for a shot. I also noticed with Rong Visai's training that there seems to be no real explanation behind the punches that he's throwing on the mitts. Kind of just throwing punches for the sake of throwing punches. Compare this to how Jesse trains and everything is a lot more calculated. He seems to get imbalanced quite easily and never really tries to set up punches. We'll just throw wild haymakers from very far away which Jesse could easily read. Too much of an over-reliance on power and not enough of trying to land the shot. As we can see from here, Jesse would also make Rong Visai pay for committing to shots by countering them through his use of angles. The top G himself, Andrew Tate, perfectly describes this concept of why you don't just relentlessly throw power punches. The difference between a machine gun and a sniper rifle is the reload time, right? A machine gun you can miss, because you can just quickly reload it. A sniper rifle, you got from bolt action all the balls. Exactly the same thing. Every single, every single weapon has a reload time. So when you're fighting as a professional, the reason I don't just go in there and start swinging is because if I miss, there's a huge reload time and I'm gonna get hurt. Just like as how Andrew described, Rong Visai would commit so much to a punch and when it misses, he doesn't have enough time to bring his arms back to defend himself. All these shots eventually broke down Rong Visai. Then Jesse became the one moving forward and finished him off with a final flurry. Truly a great performance and I am definitely excited to see what's coming next for him.